And so it begins. Hey, look over there. I think that's the source of the mysterious voice that's been guiding us all this time. Please, you must help me. A common enemy has bound me here. Trapped for all eternity unless he is stopped. Real talk though, why are you surrounded by a stinky fart cloud? Joe, shut up. This is serious stuff. Lady, we'll be happy to help if you can help us find Donald. Are we sure we can even trust her? I mean, just who is she? The same could be asked of you. You are not one of the presidential zomboys I called upon. Well, I'm here whether you like it or not. I share the same goal as these three. Find Donald Trump. Yet I sense a darkness plaguing your heart. You don't know a damn thing about me. The knowledge I have gained over the years is vast. What I have learned would surprise even you, Isaac. <laughs> Clearly, I underestimated you. I'm not sure how much you think you know, but just don't get in my way, and things will be fine. Uh, I'm sensing a lot of sexual tension here, and I don't like it. Joe's right. We're all on the same side, aren't we? Yeah, petty squabbles will get us nowhere. Now, lady, what can you tell us? Is this evil Trump around here somewhere, or Don Jr.? Our enemy has taken his throne atop Mount Olympus. He likely already knows you are here, and will do everything within his power to stop you. Olympus. Geez, he really does think himself a god. Well, how do we get there? I'm sure time is of the essence. As you stand now, you are not powerful enough to face God Emperor Trump. The sentinel artifacts in his possession carry far more power than yours. So how are we supposed to even the playing field, then? The primordial weapons lie dormant in this city, waiting for someone to claim their power. Well, being a man of primordial status myself, I think I know what you're talking about. The ancient gauntlets. Oh yeah, I remember those from the game version of Ancient Evil. They seem like just the weapons we need to save Donald. Well, once again, I find myself left in the dark. So long as you three know what to do, though, I'll follow along. We'll be counting on you a lot, Joe, Mr. Chaos Expert. Don't worry, Georgie, I'll carry us to victory. Now let's not waste any more time. Donald's life depends on us. Good luck, my heroes. <laughs> well, sounds like we're gonna need it more undead inbound, guys. Who goes there? It's me, Father. I was looking for you. Dad, calm down. It's just me, Don Jr. Yes, that's right. My son. I hate to say it, but you scare me sometimes. I didn't know the power of the Sentinel artifacts would have this kind of effect on you. This is the price I must pay for absolute power. One day you will understand the meaning of sacrifice, Junior. Yes, Father. Say, what are you doing up here anyways? Haven't you noticed it? Tainted flesh has entered my city. No doubt they're here to save my alternate self. Have you secured the prisoner? The imposter Trump is locked away tight, just like that oracle we found conspiring with the presidential zomboys. Very good. Once the evil that plagues this city rips the zomboys to shreds, nobody will be left standing in my way. Shit, Dad, you're starting to turn again. Let me get you some food. No. What do you mean, no? If you don't eat something, you're gonna fully turn into a zombie. I tire of eating the flesh of disgusting animals. Well, I'm sorry we don't have any Big Macs or anything. You remember what I just told you about sacrifice, son? Dad, what are you doing? I'm your son? And I am hungry! All right, guys, this is gonna be perhaps our most important battle yet. There's so much at stake here. No kidding, Donald's life is on the line, as well as the fate of the universe itself. Not to mention, if we succeed, we might get some information from this trapped bitch on how to deal with Monty. That's not very nice, George. She seems like a very lovely woman, minus the fart cloud surrounding her. Still, he's got a point. We don't know a lot about her, but she does seem to be on the same side as us in regards to Dr. Monty. What's the deal with this Monty guy? 
Seems like you three have a grudge against him. Well, we have a good reason to. The dude is basically a god and strung us along all over the universe to do his dirty work, making us endure all sorts of suffering in the process. Sounds like a bad guy, then. Oh, that's not even the worst of it. He's also British, or at least he has a British accent anyways. And like, if you're an all-powerful being, why would you choose to have a British accent? He's pure evil, I tell you. Well, I suppose we better see what the rest of the city has to offer. Though, if I had to guess, it'll just be more walking corpses. Even though it's under less than ideal circumstances, it is pretty amazing to be in the ancient city of Delphi. The myths surrounding this place are very interesting. Yeah, well, I'm just worried some of the myths may be true. Greek mythology can be pretty fucked up at times. Like one wrong move and our souls might end up stuck in Tartarus. Tartar sauce, what's that got to do with anything? Just shut up, Joe. But for real, I can't hear Tartarus without immediately thinking of Persona 3, goaded game. I still don't get what these video games you guys told me about are supposed to be. But in terms of our current situation, I suppose you could make the argument we are trapped in our own little labyrinth of suffering. Well, given your current status as a Walking Dead guy, I suppose that makes sense. But I don't want to think about that possibility because that would recontextualize our entire journey in a very depressing way. You know, even though we're again fighting off hordes of the undead, at least this time it's on a banger map like Ancient Evil. I mean, we just skipped shitty dead of the night. That map always made my poor old head hurt. No offense, President Biden, but it doesn't seem like it takes much to confuse you. Damn, Isaac just roasted your demented ass. Look, isn't that a sentinel artifact? What's it doing out here in the open? Seems a bit suspicious. And why is a statue of a headless lady being grabbed by the Burger King? Pretty sure that's Poseidon or some shit. I never played this map much. I just remember some review where someone got really triggered that this map was sexist or something. Well, guess we should try and take the artifact since it's right here. I don't think so. What the? Who the hell is that? No way. Donald? Arise, my soldiers. Slay those who wish to stop my ascent to godhood. He's summoning spooky, scary skeletons. And they don't want to stay down either. How is a pile of bones harder to take down than a fully-fledged zombie? Watch out, they're coming from the stands too. Shit, we're surrounded, and he's locked us in here with a barrier. This isn't good. What on earth? It's Pegasus. Guess some of the myths are real. Come back, Mr. Horsey. We need to thank you for saving us. Oh, I'm sure we'll see him again, Joe. I thought this life of mine was done with surprises. I mean, a real-life Pegasus. You don't see that every day. Damn horse! You fools are only delaying the inevitable. After I slay you, I will devour your flesh and begin my takeover of every universe. Well, that doesn't sound good. We need to find this guy and take the other Sentinel artifacts from him. That's easier said than done. Remember what our lady friend said? We need the primordial weapons to stand a chance. Now you have seen him, one who calls himself the God Emperor. There are secrets in this city that will give you a fighting chance, if you can find them. Well, that's vague as fuck, though I do remember there being a pretty dope shield on this map. Maybe there are some parts laying around. I don't know, but I think the box is up ahead. That'll be a godsend. All right, Magic Box, what you got for me this time? The SG-12, not the best weapon, but my inner hillbilly is happy with a shotgun. Damn it, I got some sort of long-range rifle. A lot of good this'll do when they're in my face. Well, I got the shitty Argus. Man, this was always Donald's favorite shotgun. I sure hope he's okay. Well, they don't call him Teflon Don for nothing. He always comes back from whatever life throws his way, whether it be 90-plus criminal charges or when he swapped with Hillary to become ruler of the ether, he always comes back stronger than before. I admire him in that regard. I'll tell you what I don't admire about him. That shitty toupee of his and that weird orange tan thing he has going on. I can't wait for you to meet him, Isaac. He has to be seen to be believed. I love the guy, but he's goofy as hell. I'm looking forward to it. He sounds like quite the character. Oh, trust me, that's putting it lightly. Hey, I found the tip of a spear. I think this is part of the shield, if I recall correctly. Yo. Unless my old eyes are deceiving me, that looks like a bridle made of gold. I think that's for Pegasus. 
Ooh, if this will make Pegasus happy, then we should bring it to him. Oh shit, it's one of those big scary forearm fucks. What in God's name is that thing? I don't know what it's supposed to be, but if it bleeds, we can kill it. Let's see how Goro here likes a taste of my chakram's of vengeance. He's one tough son of a bitch. Yeah, but he was no match for the presidential zomboys. And look, he dropped his shield. We should bring these parts to a workbench. We can craft Apollo's will with the items we've gathered. Very good, my heroes. The Blessed Spear of Apollo will be vital to uncovering the secrets of the city and overcoming the Sentinel Artifacts trial. Sounds like we're on the right track, fellas. I'll go ahead and build this shield for us then. Okay, now this is epic. I'm just able to throw these magic spears and a new one just materializes in my hands. Yeah, I'm sure you know a thing or two about chucking spears, Barry, given your ethnicity. Damn it, George. That's something I'd expect from Donald, not you. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up. Don't get me wrong. Back in my home, I'd heard much worse, but you guys are from the future. I figured racism would be a thing of the past. God damn, Isaac. You're supposed to be on my side. It was just a joke. I wasn't expecting you to be a 200-year-old or however fucking long ago you were born social justice warrior. All right, I'm gonna be the one to say it, I guess. Stop with the petty squabbles. Ooh, that felt good. But seriously, come here, I found Pegasus. I think he's been waiting for us. Are we gonna ride on this thing's back? I'm not really a horse person, you see. Ah, uh, don't knock it till you try it, Barack. I used to have a horse named Bob who I'd take everywhere. Well, I doubt uh, Bob will compare to a fucking Pegasus. Come on, buddy. We're ready to take flight. <laughs> This is going to be so fun. I guess. Where does Pegasus plan on taking us anyways? It's got to be Pack-a-Punch, right? Yeah, also known as the Underworld. Well, that's ominous. I will say, riding a dragon is way cooler. Yeah, that's a thing me and George did, by the way. A dragon? You guys have truly been on some incredible adventures. Guys, I think I can see my house from here. Shut the hell up, Joe, for the rest of the flight. <laughs> Joe, are you crying? Nah, man. I just have something in my eye. Joe deserves to cry after that zesty-ass comment. That's the kind of shit Drake would have said. Oh, shit! There you are. Mark my words, presidential zomboys. I will not be stopped. Oh, my aching head. Is everyone okay? Yeah, we're fine. Minus the fact that the place is swarming with the undead. That's got me wondering. Isaac, since you're technically undead, can you feel pain? Would a headshot put you down like the zombies? Well, to your first point, no, nothing hurts me physically. The headshot question, though? Well, I don't want to test that theory, but based on experience, I'd say it'd take more than that to keep me down. That's interesting. I wish I could not feel pain sometimes. Be careful what you wish for. The pain of this cursed life I'm now forced to wander through is worse than any pain I experienced while alive. Well, geez, that's depressing. Can you hear me, presidential zomboys? I feared the worst when I noticed Trump had found you. I see you have made it to the center of the world. The means to further empower your weapons can be found there. But you must free the eagles of Zeus. You should also be on the lookout for the means to control Pegasus. His aid will be vital. Sounds like we really have our work cut out for us then. I'd have an easier time brokering a peace deal between Palestine and Israel than all this shit. I hope these Eagles of Zeus are like American bald eagles. That would be fucking awesome. She also mentioned a way to control Pegasus. Joe, you know anything about that? Yeah, I think there's a forge down here that we can use to craft the Pegasus strike. I considered going down the path of a blacksmith when I was alive, but in the end, I pursued other endeavors. Still, I know the basics. I can help forge this Pegasus strike, if need be. That's why you're the GOAT, Isaac. Hey, I'm not a GOAT. It's an acronym, bro. It means greatest of all time. Honestly, none of our unexpected allies have let us down, really. Larry, Dr. Cohen, Scuba Sam, and of course, Yamato. Been thinking about him a lot lately. And everyone else we've lost along the way. That's why we need to stop Dr. Mani and the Ether's influence. So 
So no more lives are lost and people are free to live as they want, not in some preordained cycle. A noble goal indeed. How about we start with freeing this bird? It must be one of the eagles. Our bullets aren't doing shit. Stand back, guys, I got this. There's one eagle free, one to go. God damn it, let me out of here. Don Jr., you piece of shit. You have no right being my namesake if this is what kind of person you are. My friends are gonna find me, and when they do, they're gonna kick your ass. I'm afraid you won't be seeing much of Junior anymore. Who's there? You better be here to let me out. Oh no, Donald. You know I can't do that. There is still much to do. Enough with the theatrics, just show yourself. Finally, I get to meet the man responsible for thwarting all of my plans. Jesus fucking Christ. Your face is seriously fucked up. Are you supposed to be me? I am you, Donald. The superior version. The one who will rule this and every other world. You couldn't stop me. Not when you prevented Mike and Kamala from finding the votes I needed. Or when you blew up my moon base along with McConnell. Even destroying the Shadow Man wasn't enough to stop my plans from advancing. Okay, but we didn't do all of that with the intent of stopping you. We didn't even know you were a threat. But now you've gone too far, and I guarantee my friends are gonna come find you and put a bullet in your ugly mug. Oh, your little friends have already arrived. They'll never reach you, though, and soon I will devour them all. You bring shame to the Trump name. Allying yourself with those corrupt puppets of the deep state. Yeah, we may disagree politically, but those are the best group of guys I've ever had the honor of calling my friends. And you're making the mistake of a lifetime underestimating them. I have no doubt in my mind that they're gonna stop you. We'll see about that. When I kill them, I will bring their corpses here so that you may realize how misplaced your hope was. Then, I will destroy you! Yeah, sure, pal. I'm not scared of you. If that's all you have to say, then just leave me be. <sighs> Such arrogance. I expected as much from me. To tell you the truth, I originally planned on taking over that body of yours. But I'm starting to like this new me. Yeah, I think it suits you. It reveals your twisted, ugly, dead soul. Now, if you're done yapping, I'd like to sit here and wait for my friends without your hideous face staring me down. Yes. Sit here alone, knowing that the end is nigh. Mark my words. You and your friends' deaths are assured. Finally. I, I couldn't have him knowing that for once in my life, I'm actually scared to death. All right, we freed the Eagles, built the Pegasus Strike, and got Pack-a-Punch available to us. What now? Well, now we need to find the primordial weapons. They're most likely hidden around the city. I mean, this place is pretty huge. What exactly are these weapons, anyways? You said something about gauntlets earlier, right? Yeah, they're like hands of Greek mythological figures like Gaia and Charon and shit. These might be the most powerful weapons we'll ever get our hands on, pun intended. Well, every journey starts with a single step. And step one would be to find the base versions of the gauntlets. I will guide you to the primordial weapons. One can be found near the purple blossoms. Purple blossoms, huh? Surely you must mean the purple flowers I saw back in the city. Well, I'm surprised your slow ass remembered such an important but small detail like that, Joe. Good job. Not sure if that's a compliment or not, but thanks, Obama. Now to go see if my hunch was correct. I'm somewhat excited to try out these weapons. The ballistics of the future are already impressive enough, but weapons that utilize magic? <laughs> I'm expecting something that'll wipe these freaks off the face of the earth. That's typically how wonder weapons function. You're gonna have your mind blown, I'm sure. Hmm. Oh guys, I found one of the hands under a pile of random rocks. That's great, Joe. I just found one too, right by the purple flowers, like she said. Another can be found where the arrow splits the road and in the chaos of venom. I think I saw an actual giant arrow crashed into a road earlier. Now that would be an awesome weapon to add to the US arsenal. 
I'm just imagining hundreds of scared Afghani civvies screaming in terror as a giant arrow demolishes their fucking houses. Ah, uh, putting that aside, there's a giant statue in the underworld dripping with some green shit. Maybe that's the venom she mentioned. I'll go check it out. All right, let's see here. Aha, found my hand. Now that looks interesting. This has got to be one of the primordial weapons. At last, the hands of the primordial gods have been gathered. They must each be brought to one of the shrines. Karen, Gaia, Mera, and Uranos. Become their champions. Wield their power. I don't know which of these weapons does what, so I guess I'll just go with Uranos. Okay, well. I guess Karen fits me best. I assume his shrine is somewhere here in the underworld. I guess I'll go with Himera here because yellow is my favorite color. Well, that's a goofy reason, Joe, but I guess I'm stuck with Gaia then. I'm just gonna guess this shit is hungry for zombie souls. All right, Aranos. I don't know who you are, but you better find me worthy. I'll kill as many colored zombies as I need to. You know what? Out of context, that didn't sound right. But I mean, they're literally glowing blue. Come on, you freak bags. Old Joey Biden can take a million of you on at once. That's it. Now you may have a taste of the God's power. All right, let's try this out. Who wants to die first? <sighs> Holy shit, this is incredible. This must be the blood magic that I've read about. Looks like I've got a date with Mother Nature. Good thing she and I are already on good terms, given I love to smoke her special plants. Well. This is like a fashionable version of the Thunder Gun. I dig it. I'll whip up some winds that make Hurricane Katrina look like a gentle breeze. You think they're epic now? These aren't even their final forms. They can be made way more powerful. It's hard to believe these could be any more deadly. How do we acquire such power? I'm sure we'll have to do some complicated side quests that consists of random bullshit. There's no time. Allow me to open the gateway to the realm of the gods so that you may unlock your full potential. Where am I? Gaia's rage flows through you, Barak. Now unleash it against the undead. Holy shit. This is fucking awesome. Isaac, Karen has granted you his power to send them to the other side, where not even your own soul can step foot. Well, they can go right back to where they came from. I don't care if hell is full. That doesn't give the dead the right to walk the earth. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. This must be how Obama feels when he hits a Middle Eastern family with pinpoint accuracy. I mean, this is literally a solar orbital strike. Wipe out any opposition with a mighty gust of wind, George. Man, they can't even touch me. I'm almost certain I could have knocked the planes that got hijacked out of the sky completely with this thing. All right, I think I've got a pretty good grasp on this gauntlet. Time to get back to the real action. I'm not sure how any of this works, but I won't complain that it does. All right, we have these all-powerful wonder weapons now. Can you help us find the evil Trump? As I told you earlier, he sits atop Mount Olympus. Reaching him will not be a straightforward task. Before you is the flame of Apollo. Ignite the tip of Apollo's will, then seek out three marked locations. Marked locations? Well, this has Easter egg quest written all over it. Joe, you know how to do this one? Yeah, we have to take the flame of Apollo and light three oil spills around the city. It's pretty random, I know. Well, that's pretty par for the course in regards to Cod Zombie's quest lines. Guess we better keep an eye out then. This looks like one to me. If I were an oil spill, where would I be? Wait a sec, is that it? I'm like a bloodhound for this sort of thing. I mean, I did turn the Middle East completely upside down for their oil, so I should be able to find one of these spots. There we are. I'd recognize the scent of liquid gold anywhere. That's a bit concerning, George. But shit. Did you guys feel that tremor? I'm guessing that means we did something right. Good job, guys. What's next on the to-do list? We'll actually need you for this part, Isaac. Follow me. Okay, then. What do I need to do, Joe? See these statues? You need to shoot a charged shot of your hand of Karen on the ground and stand in it. Some of the statues will have glowing eyes, which you'll have to shoot with your hand. You'll have to destroy four of them. 
Whole lot of sense that makes. Here goes nothing, though. Ah, there's one. There you go, Isaac. Keep destroying those statues. And that makes four. Well done. I trust you know what to do next, President Biden. Don't worry, I'll show these whippersnappers how an Easter egg is done. You say that like you weren't carried through nearly every quest for most of our journey. That was the past, now it's my time to shine. Now hold on, Joe, we're not completely useless here. I remember this step vaguely. There are like these three spinning cogs we have to stop with our spears. Damn it, Georgie. This is supposed to be my moment. Come on now, Joe, we're a team. Think about it. What would Walter White have been without Jesse? Uh, probably alive. Yeah, but then there'd be no peak fiction. Who's Walter White? Is he some important figure in American history? You wouldn't get it. Okay, then. Well, I found the last of the three cogs. I'll nail it in place so it turns the bigger one. Damn it, I missed. Oops, missed again. Damn, man. Oops, missed Your again. aim sucks. Do you need me to do it? Oops, missed again. Joe would have an easier time hitting this than you. Oops, missed again. Isaac, we don't have all day. Move out of the way if you can't. Oh shit, you finally got it. It only took like 10 fucking tries. I haven't the slightest idea what you mean. I nailed that first try. Anyways, what's next, Joe? We don't need that walking husk for this. I remember what to do. We need to hit a spear at that crystal at the exact moment. All three spinning statues are facing it. Hey, lay off the man. Joe may be old, but he's a good guy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Us walking corpses gotta stick together, right? You're damn right, bro. Well, while you two were busy glazing each other, I finished that step. Now I'll concede to your direction, Joe, because that's as far as I really remember. Don't we gotta wait for one of those four-armed Big Chungus motherfuckers to show up? Yeah, he's gotta blast one of these crystals to release a little Egyptian ank. Here it is. Guess now we play the waiting game. Well, fuck, we didn't have to wait long. He's here. Come on, Ugly, hit us with your best shot. Bullseye. He hit right where we needed him to. Now to thank him for that, let's wipe him from existence with our magic fucking gloves. I'll use the true wonder weapon of Black Ops 4, the Helion Salvo. God, I love this thing. All right, Ra here can hold on to the ankh for now. Barry, follow me. You're needed for this next part. My time to shine, huh? What you got for me, Sleepy? You basically just gotta shoot these branches with your hand. It should be simple enough. Not sure what that's supposed to accomplish, but okay then. Besides summoning another one of those four-armed freaks, what did that do exactly? He's a special one. He'll drop a golden pole. Oh, I see what you mean. Man, this reminds me of my sweet Laura. Boy, did she know how to work a pole back in the day. Man, you know who I want to see pole dance? That cute little Georgina that Dr. Monty showed us that one time? Damn, she was fine. No, 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 no. Joe, I tried so hard to destroy that mental image from my head, and now you've just brought it back. I'm guessing this is something that I'm better off not knowing, right? It is pretty disturbing, not gonna lie. Joe, just steer us away from this conversation and tell us what we need to do next. We basically need to get electric catalyst to charge up the pole, then activate these moving symbols on this sundial when the blue symbol is lined up with this line on the circle. Not sure how you remember this shit, Joe, when you can't even remember when you were vice president or what you had for breakfast, but thank God you do. I'll handle these symbols. You guys just keep our undead friends here off me. We got your back, George. Don't worry. You know, this is probably a hot take that'll get me roasted, but I think these wonder weapons are better than the staffs from Origins and the bows from DE. Good thing Donald's not around to hear you spout that bullshit, Joe. He'd go off on you. Regardless, I lined up all the symbols. Now I guess we gotta return to the Ra statue, right? Oh yeah, I remember this part from a Mr. Dalek JD tutorial video. We gotta like protect the statue from skeletons. This Mr. Dalek JD guy must be a genius if he somehow foretold of these events. Nah man, he's just a British plagiarist. Like we said earlier, back in our time, the locations and events we've experienced so far are loosely based on a video game series. We still don't know how that's possible, though. And people like you were not foretold. It really does add a layer of mystery to all of this. I hope one day you guys are able to find answers and peace. Don't look now, guys, but the raw statue stole my glove. We gotta protect it from these skelly boys. 
let's just do a better job of protecting it than Obunga did Benghazi. Whoa, now that was all Hillary's doing. Not my fault she was utterly incompetent. Brother, you appointed her to her position. The buck stops with you. It doesn't matter, though, because it looks like we managed to successfully defend it. I found a scepter. I'm guessing Ra wants this thing back. Here you go, boss man. Oh, look, I think he's revealing something with that laser. You're so close. The gods are not fully satisfied, though. They demand a performance. Head to the amphitheater. Really? A performance? I don't even believe in these gods. So why should I have to provide entertainment? Oh, uh, loosen up, man. This is the fun part. Wait, is this the hit your mark step? This part is actually really cool. Well, for those of us who aren't as knowledgeable on the chaos maps, can you explain this part in detail? See these circles? Each one corresponds to our wonder weapons. The colors make it obvious which one is yours. Basically, a game will start where our circles will move around the arena, and when we go to it, zombies will appear either in the stands or down here. If they're in the stands, you kill them with a regular attack, and if they're in the arena itself, use a charged shot. And sometimes your circle will come back over here, in which case you just stand here and don't do anything. You get all that? It's simple, I promise. I think so. I mean, if your old ass can comprehend this, then I most certainly can too. All right, let's do this then. Oh, looks like I'm up first. So I just do a basic shot for these ones in the crowd, right? Good job, Barry. Now get your ass back here. It's me and Joe's turn. Well, that was easy. There's gonna be multiple rounds of this and it will get more crazy. It's nothing we can't handle. This is child's play. I don't know where it's coming from, but this music is really cool too. You guys weren't kidding. This is actually pretty fun. These magic hands are satisfying to use like this when the zombies can't fight back. So, uh, Isaac, does this constitute as friendly fire for you? Very funny, Joe. But you look like more of a zombie than me, just saying. Big talk from the guy who's got 90% of his face covered up. Damn, Lil Bro. Joe's kind of spitting facts. <sighs> Touche, old man. But seriously, I don't think you'd find what's under here very pretty to look at. Well, we're friends with Donald, and he's pretty fucked up looking. I doubt you could look any worse. We did it, guys. Well done. Now head to the River of Sorrow. You must open the way to God Emperor Trump. Pegasus will aid you. You heard the bitch? Let's head through one of the portals back to the PAP area. All right, Pegasus. Where you at, dog? Hey, there's a weird blue symbol on the floor over here. Maybe put the Pegasus strike on it? It's worth a shot, I guess. There you are, Pegasus. But wait, what's he doing? He just summoned what looks like a giant ballista. What are we to do with such a weapon, though? If I'm remembering things correctly, we need to get some venom from the trap down here onto the tip of one of our spears and bring it to the arrow on the ballista. Then we fire that fucker at the egg way down by pack a punch, and a portal to Mount Olympus will appear. Please don't let this trap melt my flesh off. Phew, you're okay, Barack. Now to just get this up to the ballista. Don't worry, Donald, we're so close to freeing you. All right, Barry, fire that fucker. All right, Mr. Ballista, as Donald would say, you're fired. Head down to the center of the world. The gateway waits for you. Good luck, heroes of the multiverse. Well, this is it, guys. On the other side of that portal is the evil Trump. No offense, Isaac, but once we rescue Donald, we want answers from you. Right, of course. Well, let's not waste any more time then. Donald is waiting for us. Great, why does it have to be raining? I think catching a cold is the least of our worries right now. Easy for you to say, Jack, you have headgear on. Come on now, it's hardly the time for petty squabbles. Look there, that must be Mount Olympus. I think you're right. So then where's this imposter Donald at? Looking for me, Barack. Yeah, actually, where the hell are you, you creepy son of a bitch? I am far above you feeble mortals now. I am a god among men. I don't know, man. Sounds to me like you're too scared to face us. My powers would be a waste to use against you puny ants. Here's a better idea. You die like the animals you are to my loyal steed. Get them, Pegasus. Wait, Pegasus? 
shit, he must have used his magic to take control of Pegasus. I don't think we have any other choice. We have to fight Pegasus first. Damn it. I'm so sorry, Pegasus. I promise we'll set you free from this chump's control. How are we supposed to stop Pegasus with him flying around like that? Well, my Helion Salvo has a lock-on function, so I'll be able to get direct hits on him. It's the zombies trying to distract us that has me worried. You can be our primary DPS then, Brock. DPS? What do you think this is, Overwatch? Leave your nerd lingo at the door. Barry, just do what you do best and send a metric fuck ton of rockets his way. The rest of us will keep the zombies at bay and take shots with our wonder weapons when we can. Jeez, don't be a buzzkill, Bush. Anyways, we can also use those jump pads to travel between islands. Jump pads, huh? Whoa! It's a good thing it doesn't work anymore, otherwise my stomach would be very upset. More of these big bastards. When will they take the hint? Hey, Pegasus is over there. Let's go get him. I still feel bad about having to do this to poor Pegasus, especially after he helped us out earlier, too. It brings me no joy to have to do this either, especially since my home has a strong history with horses, even more so after my death. There you are. Knocked him out of the sky. Now's our chance to do some damage. The specialist weapons that Santa gave us are going to be our best option here. Isaac, you can just use the hand of Karen. You got it, George. Wait, did you say Santa? Long story, man. Just focus on Pegasus. Knocked him down over there. Come on. Please forgive me, Pegasus. This is for your own good, I promise. How could a man be so cruel as to use an animal for his evil scheme? This is no man we're dealing with, but an abomination who will do anything for power. Good thing our Donald didn't end up like him. I guess it's to be expected since he's a mythological creature. But boy, can Pegasus take a hit. If you can't kill a simple barn animal, what makes you think you have even a hope of defeating me? Don't listen to him. Pegasus is starting to show signs of weakness. I'm sorry, but it's time we put this wounded animal down for good. Useless horse! I don't know why I wasted my power on you, but I'll be taking it back now. Pegasus. No! Yes! I am truly Lord of Olympus! This power, it's insane. Are we going to be able to kill him? Stow your fears, Presidential Zomboys. He may be powerful, but he is not immortal. OK, then how do we defeat him? His arrogance will lead to his downfall. Look for an opening and strike with all your might. Hey, there he is. Give him hell and watch out for any attacks he throws our way. How did you acquire such power? Still, it won't be enough to stop me. That's what you think, Donald Duck. Unfortunately for you, we have the power of God and anime on our side. Damn you. There's no way Dementia Joe is hurting me. So he is capable of taking damage. Guess we just gotta keep the pressure on him with our wonder weapons. There he is again. Let's see how you like my scepter when it's shoved up your ass. Ah! Stop this at once! Sending more of your undead goons, huh? You were always the type to have others do your dirty work, Donald. Like on January 6th. Deep down, you're scared, though. You're not like our Donald. You've kept your heart closed where darkness has been allowed to fester. That's enough from you. I am a god now. You cannot stop what is coming. You're no god. You're a parasite who has bled the lives of others to advance your own goals. Your reign of terror ends today, though. Right here, right now. Damn right, Isaac. Donald, you can cosplay as some big important guy all you want, but you are still the same narcissistic loser you've always been. Stop it. Stop making fun of me. That's it. Donald's defenses are tied to his fragile ego. You've got his guard down now. Time to finish this, you big Oompa Loompa. This isn't happening. It can't be happening. Sorry, God Emperor Trump, but it was about time someone stood up to you for once in your rotten life. Only one Donald is leaving here alive, and it's not going to be you, buddy. You're fired. Fucking gross. I was just expecting him to fall over and die, not blow up into a million little chunks. Well, let's just be thankful it's done. And look here, he dropped a key. Perhaps this'll free the woman back in the temple. Most likely, but uh, how do we get back there anyways? And where the hell is our Trump at? You've done it. The false god has been defeated. 
I will now use what little strength I have to return you here. All right, lady, we defeated the evil Trump. Do you know where our Donald is? Yeah, there's a lot we need to talk about, and Donald should be here for it, once we know he's safe and sound, of course. I will open a portal to where he is being imprisoned. You three go get Donald. I'll stay back and free her from this chair. All right, thanks, Isaac. We'll be right back. Huh? Shit, I bet he's coming back to kill me. Please, just let me go. I don't want to die. Yeah, right, like we'd let you die, Donald. That voice. Guys, I never thought I'd see you all again. Come on, man, you know we'd never stop looking for you. Hold on, where's Don Jr.? We don't want him getting the jump on us. So about that, the fucked up other version of me straight up ate him. Safe to say he won't be a concern. But speaking of, did you guys manage to defeat the bad me? Damn right we did. He won't be causing any more chaos in this or any other timeline. And that's not all that's happened. We ended up in this western town where we ran into Zuckamore and Bill Clinton. Bill? How the fuck was he still alive? And what ended up happening with him? He escaped from the dark ether after his death, but turned over a new leaf once we talked some sense into him. Unfortunately, Cortifex appeared and reclaimed his soul. And now he's expecting a fight in the future, too. Well, isn't that just great? As if we don't have enough on our plate with Monty. Oh, and did you guys end up finding out who that mysterious woman who had been speaking to us was? I heard her voice briefly before being locked up, so I think she's around here. Isaac should have her freed by now. We have much to discuss with the both of them. Hold on, Hussein. Who the fuck is Isaac? He's this dude that appeared after you were kidnapped. He gave us a sentinel artifact. But other than that, he's shrouded in mystery. He's trustworthy, though. He helped us find you. Great, another player in this twisted game we're forced to play. Guess I better go introduce myself then. All right, back through the portal then, everyone. There you go, your shackles are undone. I must thank you, Isaac. You have truly been an important asset to the Zomboys. Now is the part where you tell me that you know more than you've been letting on. Who are you, really? As if you are in any position to ask such a thing of me. You have lied to the presidential Zomboys every step of the way. <sighs> there they are. Isaac, meet President Trump. Interesting getup you got there. But listen, I gotta thank you for helping my buddies out. I'd be dead without everyone's efforts. Right, don't mention it. Mm -hmm. I sense the same tension I did when you two first met. Is something the matter? As a matter of fact, yes, Joe. Your friend here hasn't been truthful with you. He has deceived you with his goodwill this entire time. That's not. And even worse, he has actively been trying to sabotage you four since the very beginning. Isaac, what the hell is she talking about? That's not true, is it? Now's the time to tell us everything. You sought us out for a purpose. You owe us an explanation of just who you are. I'm sorry to have kept you guys in the dark for so long, but she's right. I haven't been entirely honest. In that regard, it's quite ironic. Where do I even begin? Tell them the nature of your business with them, and the fact that you've been working for Dr. Monty. What? You're allied with that toothless snake? I knew I didn't like the vibes this guy was giving off. I mean, how could you three trust someone who dresses like a poor person? There's got to be some sort of mistake here. Isaac, I thought you wanted to help us because you agreed with our mission. I thought we had become friends. Joe, we are friends. Then why in the bloody hell does Monty know you? He's a deceiver, presidential zomboys. His word cannot be trusted now. Yo, bitch, how about you shut the hell up and let me talk? I'm going to explain everything from the day my life was thrust down this dark path to now. It all began the day I died. It was a day like any other. The country was just coming out of the bloodiest conflict in her short history. I had enjoyed great success the previous year, being granted more time to continue the job I had started. My wife and I decided to spend the evening out together. The ironic part is that neither of us wanted to be there. 
Still, it was supposed to be harmless, just the two of us and a couple friends watching some cheap entertainment. Midway through the performance, though, the unexpected happened. I died that day from a gunshot wound to the back of the head, and for 20 years I stayed that way, until the fateful day I met him. Rise and shine, Mr. President. What the... Where the hell am I? Last thing I remember was being at the theater. And what am I wearing? Try not to freak out, Abraham. But your little night out with the wife was about 20 years ago. What are you talking about, old man? Who are you? I go by many names. You can call me Dr. Monty, though. A pleasure to meet you. Okay, Doc. You mind telling me what you're blabbering about? How did I end up out in the middle of a field? Well, it's quite simple, really. Twenty years ago, you were shot by some bloke named John Wilkes Booth. Time marched on, and now you're alive again. Stop bullshitting me. Tell me the truth. Someone's in a pissy mood. I guess that's what twenty years of missed time will do to a man. But okay, I was lying. You're not alive. You're as dead as a doorknob. How could I be dead? I'm having a conversation with you. Don't believe me? Try and find a pulse in that body of yours, I guarantee you won't. What the hell? You're right, I can't feel my heart beating. Okay. Now we're on the same page and can get down to business. Truth be told, you've reanimated due to the universe falling apart. But guess what? You're gonna fix it. What are you even talking about? What does this have to do with me? Well, Mr. President, or should I say former President, there are successors of yours from the future who have ballsed up everything. It's my job to keep every universe in check, and that's a bit tricky when these rogue presidents have done everything in their power to fuck it up. So here's the deal. You take these presidents out for me, and I let you go back to the night of your death and change things. You're asking me to commit murder. Well, you can forget it. Just let me go back to being dead if that's the case. I wouldn't advise that. You're the only one who can do this for me. And if you don't, every reality will fall. That includes the past, present, and future. Countless lives will cease to be. Why me? Why can't you get George Washington or Andrew Johnson to do this? Well, Washington was tempting, but I couldn't look past the wooden teeth. And Johnson? That fucker nearly got removed from office. Listen, you were considered to be one of, if not the greatest president of all time, even centuries later. This is bigger than your country, though. The entire universe is calling upon you, Abe. If everything you're saying is true, I guess I don't really have a choice. I just hope the Lord can forgive me for committing the most grave sin of all. Tell you what, I'll put in a good word to the man upstairs for you. Oh, and you'll have to drop the whole honest shtick for a bit. Assume a false identity and all that. After that, Monty explained pretty much everything to me. The sentinel artifacts, the presence of zombies, etc. I needed to gain your trust, especially after Donald was separated from the rest of you. I never would have found him on my own. My god, you're gullible. You trusted Monty even after knowing he was British? Donald, we really have no room to talk. We trusted him too once. Still, I can't believe you lied to us, Isaac and plan on killing us. That's the thing, though. I don't want to kill you guys. You all showed me friendship, and a future worth being optimistic about. I genuinely believe what you told me about Monty, that he was using me. Isaac, no, President Lincoln. I owe my life to you. If you hadn't signed the Emancipation Proclamation, who knows how my life would have ended up. Yeah, and we all make mistakes. I believe your change of heart is genuine. The conversations we've had in the short time we've known each other are proof of our friendship and respect for one another. I mean, I don't make mistakes, and sure, I don't know you as well as these guys, but I always say that perhaps you are the only president who is better than me. You guys, thank you. Maybe together we can set things right. I've heard quite enough from you. Presidential zomboys, do yourselves a favor and kill this stupid Republican. Hey, just what do you mean by that? Yeah, you got something against us Republicans or something? Something's rubbing me the wrong way about this bitch. Just who are you anyways? You have no reason to doubt me. But perhaps it is finally time I reveal myself to gain your trust.
Well, this will be interesting. No way. It was you all along? Well, I definitely didn't see that coming. Nasty Nancy Pelosi? Hello, Donald. It's been a while. Okay, someone fill me in. Who is this chick? That's Nancy Pelosi. She was Speaker of the House for a long time and a real thorn in Donald's side. Now, I know by this point in our journey, nothing should come as a shock anymore, but seriously, why and how are you here? Oh, Barack, I'm trying to make this world a better place. Well, for us at the top anyways. What exactly do you mean by that? How did you find out about the ether and Dr. Monty? You would be surprised what kind of information is out there, President Bush. Being a highly influential member of Congress, I was privy to many secrets others wouldn't normally have access to. Sounds like corruption to me, like how you trade and buy stocks knowing damn well you'll make a profit beforehand. My question is, how did you acquire the powers you clearly have now and what led you to this place? Well, this isn't my first time here. In fact, I've been coming here for centuries looking for the missing library of Alexandria. The library of Alexandria? That place is said to contain knowledge not meant for mortals, but wasn't it destroyed? Not destroyed, lost. And now that they're all together, the Sentinel artifacts will reveal its location. I love going to the library. Hey, Nancy, while you're there, can you check me out a copy of my favorite book, Gender Queer? I can never find a copy because Republicans are banning it. Shut up, Joe, this is serious. Nancy, just who or what are you? You're clearly no normal human if you've been around for this long. I don't know, but when's Medusa gonna show up? Remember in the game version of Ancient Evil, she was the oracle that was guiding the Chaos crew. What? Of course we don't remember that. We barely played shitty Black Ops 4. You've been sitting on that info this whole time, Joe? My bad, I forgot till just now. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Of course, I've been using magic to conceal my true appearance. I can't quite walk around Congress with snakes in my hair. Is this a joke? You're seriously telling us that you're Medusa? I'd be more than happy to prove it to you. I can turn you into stone in the blink of an eye if I so wish. Sheesh. I mean that Medusa would get me hard if you know what I'm saying. George, I hope to God you're joking right now. That's still Nancy fucking Pelosi. Getting back on track here, what's your goal? Usurp Dr. Monty as the one in charge? That's right, Donald. But there's still so much about the ether I still don't understand. Things that you could teach me, since you ruled over it for a time. There's only one way to get that information instantly, though. Shit, I remember this from the ancient evil cutscene. She's gonna try and suck your dick for info, Donald. What? What? No, I just need to kiss you on the lips. Now pucker up, Donald. Hell nah, stay the fuck away from me. So you want to play hard to get, huh? A shame. I was planning to allow you four to join me at the top, but I guess turning you to stone is the only option. I'm sure the library will have the information I seek. Shit, watch out! What are you... Uh, hey, what's the big idea? You could have messed up my perfect hair. Donald, I think he just saved your ass from turning to stone. I, 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 I don't understand. You should be a statue by now. That's never failed before. Sorry to disappoint, but I'm not your average president. Now, return to the darkness that you slithered out of. Forever. Ah, oh, there it is. Here, this sentinel artifact belongs to you guys. I guess at some point she swiped God Emperor Trump's from him. Thanks, Isaac. Er, I mean, Abraham. Sorry, it's still a bit of a mindfuck. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta personally thank you. Back when you were president, you pardoned my great-great-grandfather. Really? It's a small world, I guess. But yeah, don't mention it. So what now? We have the Sentinel artifacts. So we should be able to confront Monty, right? Yeah, I'm ready to give that asshole a piece of my mind. <sighs> Not quite. There actually is one more Sentinel artifact out there. Medusa's plan wouldn't have even worked without it. Hope you guys have the will for one more adventure. Another one? And you're just telling us this now? Ah, uh, cut him some slack, Donald. Abe, hey, do you know where we can find this last artifact? Monty told me there was one in Japan that hadn't been found yet. I hope you all have a way to get there. Japan, huh? Well, the last time we were there, things didn't end up going that well. Rest in peace, Yamato. Abe, it doesn't sound like you'll be going with us. That's right. My time's starting to run out, I'm afraid. What are you talking about? Please don't leave us. We could use your help. I'm sorry, Joe. 
Medusa's attack. I don't know why, but it's just taking its time. I can feel it begin to change me. You mean you're actually turning to stone? That's not fair. That was supposed to be me, not you. Don't talk stupid, Donald. The world needs you more than it needs me right now. We can't just leave you here to die, though. Not after everything you've done for us. The outcome was always going to be the same. Monty likely would have killed me after finding out I betrayed him. My only regret is that I'll die here, and not on American soil. I'd do anything to lay my eyes on America and her beauty one last time. There's got to be something we can do. Can't these Sentinel artifacts do something? Come on, open a portal home. Look, I think you said the magic words, Donald. Huh. Well, if it brings me home, then I can die happy. Only one way to find out, though. Hey, we're in Washington, D.C. It sure looks a lot different than I remember. And what's this building supposed to be? It looks different to me, too. Actually, this is what things were like when I was a kid. This is supposed to be the Lincoln Memorial. But something's off. I get a memorial named after me? You really don't know how big of a legacy you left behind. Leading the nation through the Civil War, emancipating the African-American people, you are truly one of the most important figures in American history. And let's not forget, you helped us out in our quest to save the multiverse. We owe you a giant debt of gratitude. <laughs> it pleases me greatly to know that my life was worth something. And I know the country is still in good hands all these years later. Still, I gotta say, it seems like there's something missing here that would really make this memorial stand out. We must have come back in time to when the memorial is still under construction. This has got to be a paradox or something, because we're here for the finishing of this monument despite not remembering it happened. Well, that's time travel for you, I guess. I suppose all that's left now is to head up to my final resting spot. It's a hell of a view, man. I've been here more times than I can count just to take in the beauty of this country. I'm grateful. This way I'll be able to watch over my country forever. Yeah, and we'll be sure to come and visit too. Huh, you better. You don't gotta worry about that, Abe. I mean, you saved my skin back there. Speaking of skin, I feel mine starting to harden. I think it's time. You guys should head back home through another portal. We'll meet again in about four score or so. God bless you, President Lincoln. Thanks again for everything. I'm no good at goodbyes, but we'll meet again after all. You're the only president who I'll admit is better than me, just saying. We'll see you real soon, Abe. Promise. Looking forward to it. So long, my friends. Well, I think we made it home. Sure looks that way. Sorry we're late, Mr. President. Didn't mean to make you wait for a hundred years. It's only been a few seconds for us. I almost expected him to say something back. I'm sure he's looking down at us, telling us not to worry. We need to make sure he didn't sacrifice himself for no reason and find the last Sentinel artifact. It's somewhere in Japan, right? Guess we should head home and start doing some research or something. Yeah, after a nice long shower and some sleep, of course. Amen to that. Good luck, Mr. Presidents.